Good morning everybody, this is Kathy and I am working on some old products from close to my heart and I am scrapbooking these old photos from last year on Ag Day. I just had a few left and I wanted to get them documented. This is Briley petting a horse and I have purchased a stamp set from close to my heart. And if I can find it here on my messy desk, it's the farm stamp, farm animals. And it is so adorable. I was so excited that they had that. So if you want to pick up that stamp, I will show you here in a little bit. I'll show you the stamp and you'll be so excited if you have kids and if they have anything like Ag Day you will want this stamp. It is adorable. I just love it. All right, this paper, every little thing, they still have the workshop kit, but I don't know how long because they're starting to clearance it out. So if you want to pick it up, I am a close to my heart consultant. I will have my link below. I, I just love this paper is so beautiful in fact i am picking me up a workshop kit so you will be seeing that on my channel um i know they will be sold out so i just want to i just love the purples and teals and um, greens together and so that will be coming up maybe in may i'm not for sure i may purchase another one and just have a giveaway on my channel i'm not for sure these i picked up on clearance too so they have all kinds of clearance items that they clearance out so you'll want to go pick um check out their clearance items and I love to just go and check out what they have, and they have them at a really cheap price, too. So, I wanted to bring in some craft color in with this layout. I know there's like gray and purple and blue and green, but I wanted to bring in some craft because I knew I wanted to stamp out that horse from the sticker sheet now see i thought about bringing gray but oh look at them stamp sets sorry i was super quick there they are aren't those adorable so i'm just getting my stamp pad from close to my heart out and i'm going to be using my espresso ink got my horse on my stamp pad stamp block <laughs> And I'm going to just stamp it out and then um, I'm going to fussy cut this out. It's pretty big, so I don't mind cutting it out. It's just the little things that I just don't enjoy. <laughs> so I don't make you watch me do that, but now I grabbed a craft um, uh tag out of my and I'm also using those um, stamps and they are called let me see simple accent alphabet those I love those alphabets so I'm trying to get them used more often all right, so I'm going to, boy, you can really see my light in my block. Sorry about that. I'm going to try to stamp on my layouts more. I'm using Espresso ink like I stamped the horse in. And I'm just simply going to stamp Ag Day. This layout came together super quick. I uh, started with the horizontal design and it just fell together. 
that tag is going to host my cluster down on the bottom. I'm going to, that horse just fits, nestles right in there. I did use some foam adhesive from close to my heart. Now I'm going to glue the date on the little ticket. And that ticket says, this makes me so happy. And Briley had a ball up there with all the animals. She was feeding the horse and petting it. That's why I wanted to include all the photos because one just shows her so happy. The other one shows her petting the horse. And the other one shows her feeding the horse. And she just was on cloud nine. All right, I had a few of these stickers left. I tried using them and then I stuck them back on the sheet and it stuck to the other paper. That's why I had such a hard time. And this floral piece is just a little bit too big so I don't end up using it. But that was so pretty. I just love it. So I do end up using this one. That one nestles right in there. Okay, so these little pieces here, they're like paint splotches. It says, I love every little thing about you. So I'm going to put those in the bottom left-hand corner of the photo. And I'm trying to figure out where to put this little purple flower. So I end up putting it up there on the ticket. And that says smile. And there's a purple heart. I end up putting that there. And then I bring in a couple flowers and put down by the heart. I hope all of you are staying well. My kids came over. They came over to get their deep freeze out of our basement and I asked if they could please bring the kids and that I would stay inside and at least let them get out and run in my yard just so I can see them from indoors and oh my goodness my little granddaughter Lily got out of the truck and said, Mama, and she reached her arms out. She goes, I'm sending you a air hug. And she reached her arms out as far as she could and then brought him in and hugged herself and sent me a hug. Oh, my God. The tears just rolled. I, oh, it just melted my heart. It felt so good to see them. Even though I couldn't get close to them, it felt good to see them. I'll be glad when all of this is over. I'm like going crazy. I feel like I'm locked up in the house. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, you will see my boo-boo. I dump my Lindy's stuff on the table. <laughs> you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.